Hi, I'm Logan Smith, and welcome to Art This Week. In this week's episode, we visit Conduit Gallery and speak with Sarah Ball about her exhibition, Accused. Now for Art This Week. I'm here with Sarah Ball. Um, she has her show up currently at Conduit Gallery called Accused. Thank you so much for joining us today, Sarah. Nice to meet you. So I wanted to first kind of go into uh, how you first uh, became friendly with Conduit and how were you first introduced to Conduit Gallery? Oh, well, really, um, it was Danette contacted me and I'm not entirely sure. I think she just found the work online actually, quite one of those fluky things that happen. And uh, they got in touch straight away and asked if they could take um, the work to, um, I think it was Miami Projects. Um, so it was literally as easy as that. It's been fantastic. So, um, but chatting with Danette and then seeing the gallery online and everything, it was really intriguing. So I felt I should come out and see. So we noticed, um, kind of looking online at your website, at your work, um, most of it featured, um, I think, were pieces that you did after school. So I just kind of wanted to ask you, how did school affect your art and kind of your idea of creating art in general? Okay, well, I mean, I mean, years ago, I did a degree in um, graphics, and so worked as an illustrator for quite a long time. Um, and then, uh, eight years ago, seven years ago, I completed an MFA. Um, and really, for me, the most important thing about that was although it gave me space out to make work and explore and experiment, but um, it just taught me how to research properly contemporary practice, which is so relevant to everybody's work, that, you know. So for me, that was the most important part of, of the MFA, really, was, was grasping that and learning how to do that, really. Mm -hmm. What is the process you make in terms of when you go about picking each of your subjects that you paint? Okay, well, it's really gut instinct. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'll first warm to the photograph. So. It, you know, something intrigues me, it's either it's a really clear photograph that I could use or there's just something about the person's face. It's as, it's guttural really, it's, that's my reaction to it and it just makes me want to paint them. Um, then I find out the story, or not so much the story, that the, the crime that they're accused of. And so that, you know, certainly there have been times when I've been put off painting a person. Um, and other people are heroic, or even though they've been accused of committing crimes. For instance, the, I did a whole series of um, the Freedom Riders. Um, so they were, although they were arrested, they were, you know, heroes. Um, so essentially, so that happens, and then I, I, with these particular mugshots, I've bought them all. I found them and bought them. So I have them, so I have a little, the card that it comes with them in the printed, you know, the name and everything. And the crime is all on that, and I take it from there, really. <laughs> so is there maybe one in particular? I know we had kind of eyed this one earlier yeah. that you could maybe speak about in more detail. Okay, well, he, he's basically very interesting to me because he was uh, accused of selling fireworks, which, you know, I find that quite weird anyway, <laughs> that that would be a crime. But um, when I spoke to Danette, she said, you know, obviously in Texas, um, at certain times of the year when it's really, really hot, um, fireworks are banned. And so he was obviously illegally <laughs> selling them. And so I know you have um, a lot of different works in uh, this series. Kind of what keeps you coming back to the idea of um, painting these subjects that um, yeah. the, kind of their background and story? I guess it's relevant. Even if some of them are historical, it's relevant to now. Um, in fact, the guy over there, um, he, the, it's, he's accused of sexual perversion and prostitution, but actually he's a cross-dresser. And so um, that really speaks of the time, mm -hmm. um, and th thankfully things have changed. But um, So for me, that they, they're still really relevant. The stories are still um, relevant, and I guess it's just a slice of human life. Mm -hmm. um, that will never ever stop interesting me. So, 
you know, it's as simple as that, really. Yeah. So I know recently you won uh, Welsh Artist of the Year. Yes, um, yes. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so um, in terms of that, kind of what what is the significance of now showing for your first time in North America? Well, it's great. I mean, Wales has got such a great cultural um, heritage, but also a very vibrant um, contemporary scene, basically, especially around Cardiff. Um, and so they are utterly delighted to be, you know, sort of supporting um, Welsh artists to, to travel and show their work. So um, it would be, you know, it'd be great. Really, really good. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure. We want to thank Sarah for speaking with us. You can find more information on her at sarah-ball.co.uk. You can find more information on the exhibition at conduitgallery.com. That's it for art this week. Thanks for watching. I still got your polar.